Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by. It's your girl Steph and I'm back with another video. Today's video is about living with fibroids. I know there are countless women suffering with fibroids and I was one of them. So I am hoping that in sharing my story, I am able to help someone with theirs. Before we get started, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and continue watching. Although any woman of reproductive age can develop fibroids, black women are more likely to have fibroids than women of other racial groups. Here's my story. I was diagnosed with fibroids um, about 10 years ago in 2010. And when I learned I had fibroids, honestly, I was just so nonchalant about it because I've never heard about fibroids and I didn't realize the impact that it would have on my life later. I lived with fibroids for so many years unbothered. Um, it wasn't until uh, my menstrual cycle started changing that uh, it started to affect me. My, pe my periods would last much longer. Um, it would range from seven to 10 days. I would bleed heavier. I mean, ridiculously. I would soak a pad in less than an hour um, for the first two, maybe three days. Um, my cramps were excruciating. I would literally need to pop pills uh, back to back. I remember one time popping like 16 pills just to, just to just, you know, be comfortable and it still didn't help. The first day of my cycle, the first day or two, I would literally need to be on bed rest. It was just so uncomfortable. I always had accidents. It just, it was a mess. I tried to change my lifestyle. I exercised regularly. I changed my diet. I went from becoming a vegetarian to a pescetarian to a vegan to a fruitarian. But I realized that I was too far gone. I was too far along to reverse my diagnosis. And it wasn't that none of those things helped. It just was the fact that I was just too far gone. I did so much research. I reached out to doctors and, and other women who had the same issues. Um, I tried to go the holistic route. I took natural remedies and natural uh, medicine. And um, everything I did, it just did not work in my favor because I needed surgery. And I waited way too long to take action. When I first found out that I had fibroids, it was the size of a quarter. By the time I actually had surgery, uh, my fibroids was 19 centimeters, which is about the size of a cantaloupe. Um, and so I just could not believe it. it. It was just overwhelming. I decided to have surgery when I could not live with fibroids anymore. I um, found myself just in and out of the hospital, um, dealing with excruciating cramps, excruciating pain, and just uncomfortable. Um, it wasn't until my kidneys and other organs in my body were affected. I remember uh, being unable to urinate, to use the bathroom. I would literally go in the bathroom and would sit on the toilet for 10 minutes to try and urinate. I would have to press down on my pelvis just to urinate. It was insane. Um, I remember I was on my menstrual one day and the cramps that I had was unlike ever before so I knew something was wrong. My older sister rushed me to the hospital and when I got to the hospital, um, I explained you know, to my doctor what happened and uh, they decided to take a, they, they decided to perform a bladder examination. And when they did, they told me that my bladder was so backed up that it started to affect my kidneys. In fact, I needed to see a urologist. I had to see a nephrologist. I had to see so many doctors because the fibers had grown so big. It was about 19 centimeters at this point, And it started to affect the kidney, which affected my ability to be able to urinate. And it was almost life-threatening. They talked about so many different procedures that I needed to have in order to save my kidneys, but the kidney was just part of the symptom 
the fibroids were the actual problem. So I knew that I needed to take care of the problem. And um, that's when I decided to take care and uh, have surgery. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video is able to help someone out there who's living in or dealing with fibroids. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a question or a comment in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. Or if you have any remedies or something that may have worked for you, please share it below down in the comment so that it can help another woman. And stay tuned for my next video because there I will discuss um, what type of surgery I had, the recovery process, what that was like, and um, any other questions that you guys may have, I will make sure to incorporate those questions and answers into that video. So thanks for watch watching. Make sure you guys just take care of yourself and your health. And until next time, see you guys later.